repentance is not a message that people like to hear today? What could be the reasons why the call to repentance has fallen on deaf ears? Firstly, in this modern generation, we are very insecure people. We all want to hear only good news. We don't want to hear bad news. We want to be affirmed all the time. We don't want people to contradict what we are doing because we know best. We are so intelligent. That is why even today preachers, they hardly preach on morality because it is not a welcome topic. Today preachers are focused only on giving people hope, affirming them that they are on the right track. Everything is well. People today want to hear positive messages. Secondly, if people reject the call to repentance, simply it's because today many people cannot acknowledge their sins because they are numb to sin. They do not know what is sin anymore. Relativism tells us everything is permissible. It's a matter of opinion, a matter of preference. How can we talk about sin when the world say sin does not exist at all? At one time, something is not permissible. Now, it is acceptable. So people are confused. And of course, when we no longer accept sin in our life, when we have normalized what is abnormal, after some time, it becomes a way of life. We cannot feel any more compunction when we sin. The third reason why people cannot accept repentance is because Catholics have a very shallow understanding of repentance. They think repentance is to know what our sins are according to the precepts of the church. Whether you're convinced or not, doesn't matter. You go for confession, you get your pardon, so that you can sin again. There is no real change of heart because there is no contrition. There is no realization that this, what we are doing is really wrong. When we do not believe that what we are doing is wrong, how can there be any real change? Repentance is more than just doing some penance, three year marriage after confession. Repentance is truly a change of heart, a change of attitudes. Repentance really calls for self realization to know that we have hurt not just ourselves but our loved ones and our Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance means the desire to change, to lift the life of the gospel. That is the fourth reason why people reject the call to repentance. And this is simply because deep in our hearts, even though we might be believers, we don't really trust in the gospel. And sometimes we think Catholic teaching make our lives so miserable, so sad, that Catholic moral teachings are so legalistic, they take out the joy the fun of living. That is the reason why the call to repentance is not primarily a call to moral repentance. To repent is primarily to believe. So repentance and believing are not two steps. We repent by believing the good news. And what is this good news? It's the good news of God's love and mercy that in spite of our sinfulness, God wants to set us free. That is why encountering the good news is important. And the good news is ultimately about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who gave His life for us. It is expression of the Father's love. That is the good news. But unless you believe and have encountered this good news, you cannot change it. Repentance is not just an act of the will. Repentance is actually something of the heart. 
If people do not repent, it is because they have not encountered the good news, the love of Jesus, the mercy of Jesus. They are ignorant. That is why we cannot condemn people who continue to live immoral lives. Because they are ignorant. They think that the life they are living is the best. It's giving them life. When in truth, they are becoming slaves of their passions. The best way to help people to repent is not to condemn, is not to put fear into their lives. Fear cannot change people. It is love. That is why if we want to be truly repentant, if we want to bring others to repentance, what do we do? We don't have to moralize. We just have to bring them to Jesus. When they encounter Jesus' love, then they will begin to believe in His Word. They begin to accept the Gospel. And they will change not because they have to or they fear, but because they want to, because they love Jesus. And this is what the good news is all about. The good news is about Jesus. To repent is to turn towards Jesus. When you turn towards Jesus, you turn away from sin.